Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terror. Hope everybody's well. Pisces Aries, you're up for the Cuss Baby readings for November into December. So, if it resonates with you, cool. It's not really a moon rising or Venus. It's, you know, I really can't look that up. It's your sun cusp because y'all have a weird energy about you. You're a mix of two very different energies, let me tell you. One of my really good friends is a Pisces Aries cusp. He's a different kind of dude, let me tell you. Real fiery, but kind of emotional at the same time. Ah, anyway, anyway, enough about that. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Either way, I appreciate it. If you are new here, you think you might want to pop over some more, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos circulate to those who may need the messages. So it's all very much appreciated. I'm trying to wake the deck up here. I just re-straightened everything, so... Okay. Keep in mind, time and energy are both still fluid in these readings, so just because I'm asking for messages for November, December, that does not mean what I'm going to get. Okay? Oh, gosh. What else? Losing my train of thought. Um. Oh, if you're a cross-watcher up in here, you are going the extra mile to figure out your person. Let me tell you. Five of Cups came out. Okay. Possibly somebody is still standing by that. Oh, river of sadness. Not seeing the blessings. The hair fit in the three of swords. Maybe someone's grieving over what was a blessed union. All right. I think we're awake. Two quick things. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And once again, if it's not resonating, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. Okay. Whoop. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my Pisces, Aries, Cuss babies. both in my collective and those who may watch this reading, trying to receive a message. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring all querents to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. On with it. Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. You know what you want. The challenge is crossing the choppy waters to get it. Okay. What's going on? Okay. Incoming events. Knight of Cups. Three of Wands. King of Swords. Why? Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Lovers. Outcome, Ace of Cups, Make or Break, King of Wands. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Well, well, well. Okay. All right, talk to me about this Knight of Cups. Are my Pisces, Aries friends given a cup or fixing to take a cup? Six of wands, seven of wands.
You want somebody to notice your cup. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. You're ready for a new start. You ready to let go of the past and move forward to the future? All right, all right, all right. Why is the Three of Wands here? Because I feel like somebody's going to make you wait. Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Somebody going to make you wait or did you make somebody wait? Knight of Coins to the Queen. This has been a process, hasn't it? Oh, God, this has been a process. That's some slow-moving energy. Huh. One more on that. I'm hearing... Now you want to give me a cup? Four of Wands and the Five of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Now you want stability. Now you want to give me a cup. Somebody may be trying to wrap their head around it. All right. Why the King of Swords? Talk to me about this King of Swords. Wheel of Fortune into Justice. Things balancing out. Destined event. But someone's still having to make a logical decision here. King of Swords, Page of Swords, <sighs> mm, Thinking Caps, Justice to the Hanged Man, it's all about balance, keeping balance, maintaining balance. What do we do with this cycle? This cycle is going to end and a new cycle is going to begin, but what cycle? Could be something legal for some of you. This may cause some conflict. We have one more on that four of wands. Just the four of wands, thank you. <laughs> strength into the hermit six of coins into the seven of coins yeah it's a they may hold back trying to avoid conflict this is going to send somebody down a down down an introspection path for sure now you want balance now you want to put the time and effort in after you make me wait okay okay why is it happening Seven of Wands. Somebody had an internal conflict. Talk to me about the Seven of Wands. One on the Seven of Wands. One on the Seven of Wands. Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. Somebody had an internal conflict about what to do with a cup. Something butted. Something was in the beginning stages, but somebody had an internal conflict about it. One on this Ace of Swords. One on this Ace of Swords. Thank you. The High Priestess to the Empress. Oh, wow. There was internal conflict. Possibly you were drawn together? Like, like on a soul level and something started to grow why the lovers talk to me about the lovers lovers is a card of choices the tower into the yeah oh shit A tower may have had to come down. 
Maybe a tower did come down and somebody had to heal. Somebody wasn't ready. Right, talk to me about this Ace of Cups. Talk to me about this Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the outcome. The outcome is the new start. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, communication. I feel like somebody might hold back. Is this holding back or one last go? Talk to me about this Eight of Wands. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Honesty, truth. Making the offer, bringing in the sword, bringing that sword back. I dropped a card. I'm going to put it back in, but we're going to address it briefly. Really? 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 Okay. Hold up. Ten of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Somebody was putting off a painful ending for a new start, possibly. See if it comes back out. Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. For somebody, this might have been a heartbreaking process. And this may be a heartbreaking process for someone. A heart's going to have to break in this outcome. Talk to me about the King of Wands. One on the King of Wands. Queen of Wands, or the King of Wands is a step up from the Queen. It's the knowing what you want and going after it and going after it and getting it. Question is, are you willing to go after it and get it? It's Aries, Pisces, Cuspers. Six of Swords into the Seven of Swords. Six of Swords is reversed. It's a card of return. This is something that got started and it was interrupted by a tower. Now you want to come back? Nine of coins and the ten of coins at the bottom of the deck. Someone might be content just being single and working on themselves. Hmm. All right. Let's get a crystal power on this. Let's get a crystal power. Five swords, I will heal myself. This might require a healing. That's a lot of cards. That's a lot. We're only going to take that one. Queen of Wands, I, I am naturally creative. Ace of Pentacles, I am always rewarded for all I do. Judgment, I look back with compassion for myself. Might be a resurrection coming, but it's going to take a healing. Those slow growing seeds take a lot of energy, take a lot of endurance. If you want it bad enough, all right, give me a wisdom oracle. Wisdom oracle. Why? And building blocks. Why? Number 31. There's a great power in understanding your motives right now. The oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question. Looking for this answer, behaving this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you're clear about it, 
Your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Wow. That was deep. All right, number 28, building blocks. Maybe some of y'all got to ask yourself why. Okay. You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is a truly remarkable and beautiful design. Pisces, Aries, cuss babies. Have one hell of a November. And going into your December, I will catch you guys next month. Thanks for stopping by. Peace, love, and light.